What happened to your elbow? Did you hurt it? Uh, no. I'm, I do. I don't remember hurting it. Yeah. Uh, but then I had a splinter in there that was almost three sixteenths long, and I didn't Ooh. know it until it started raising and I like that, and it came out. Oh man! Next time you get one of those, you come in. We'll try to take those out for you. All no, right. So, so uh, you're okay if we make a little video here. And what we've diagnosed you with is a condition called tennis elbow. Now, are you a big tennis player? Not in fifty years. Not fifty years. Well, it took a long time for this to come on. Maybe. Yeah. No, you don't have to be playing tennis to get it, but that's what it's called. This is actually also known as lateral epicondylitis, which just means you have some inflammation here where the the radial and the humeral bones kind of come together, where you have an articulation to move your hand. So what we're going to do for you is put a little Don't cortisone in there. Please. Are you staying real still? Yes. All right. You were telling me an interesting story earlier about how you injured your neck. You want to tell us that story? Uh, oh, it's, <laughs> it's awkward to tell the story without using the arms uh, and such, but mm -hmm. I had uh, been trying to use some what I call whoppers and cut a big root. Mm -hmm. And uh, Is it the did, hamburger whoppers? Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and root beer? they released and threw my whole body forward mm -hmm. and my head uh, hit a corner of a flower uh, border mm -hmm. and put several stitches there and hit so hard that it busted the vertebrae and between the, uh, around the five vertebrae in my neck. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, quite painful, blood running all down my arm, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm by myself, so what do you do? You drove uh, yourself to the emergency room, didn't you? Yeah, I called some people, and nobody was around, and so I managed myself. Uh, I had a friend that did come by and load some stuff on me, mm -hmm. he followed me halfway over there, and I was managing it, but. Across Eldridge Parkway from uh, Bel Air, yeah, uh, it's quite a distance to 1960. Little stick, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Ready? Yeah, Keep understand. talking. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was like 20. Uh, Just break. 20 miles. Little stick. Uh, an hour, 25 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. To. Uh, to make it and feeling every bump along the way. So. I imagine you did. Yeah, but it wasn't anything like the three weeks when they thought I had a sprain and I'm sitting at home putting ice pack after ice pack till I think I'm just gonna die. So you took them three more weeks to figure out that you really did break something. Well, I had them keep telling them it hurt like the dickens. They upped the, the uh, pain medicine and all of that. I haven't heard that word in forever. The dickens? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I think I've only heard it in the movies. Have you ever heard Shinola? <laughs> well, no, I, I, I know the difference between Shinola and something else, but yeah. that's a different story. Yeah, that was one of my mom's sayings way mm -hmm. back when. Mm -hmm. So they finally did figure out you had cracked some bones in your neck and they made you wear a hard collar and you had to go every few weeks get x-rays and all that kind of stuff. Huh? Yeah, as soon as they x-rayed me, uh, they took me by ambulance to get that repaired after three weeks ignoring it. Right. I really thought about suing the turkeys. I looked mm -hmm. into it and they mm -hmm. said there's too many... Uh, turkeys to go see you really that was your first yeah. mistake next time go to a human doctor don't go to a turkey doctor now that would help yeah that's the kind of doctor gonzo wants to be when she goes to med school as a turkey doctor i do no i want to be a unicorn doctor unicorn doctor yeah you know what you seem like a nice guy i'm glad you got through it though how did that feel that hurt a whole lot or just a little bit yeah i can understand there's going to be pain with something mm -hmm. in there i was right. concerned as far as having that but mm -hmm. there's not a lot of meat around that bone mm -hmm. there you're my first procedure I've done since I had my neck worked on the other day. I had a couple of bad discs removed from my neck by an awesome doctor here not too long ago. And, and uh, you know, I'm just back at work for a few days and feeling pretty good, well, actually. I got a little Band-Aid on right there, little Gonzo. You see my Band-Aid? Mm -hmm. I yeah. can't wait to take the stitch out. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to know if that was a possibility for doing something to mine so I can lift my head back up. I yeah. used to go play blackjack and enjoy going to Vegas and now my head's down walking through crowds just takes all the no, fun out of it. bring me no money. Well, you, we can get you some blackjack games going now. We just roll yeah, over to uh, Lake Charles and play a little well, blackjack. I used to do that. Um, Let's try this with your hand real quick. I want to make sure that this is going to feel better. Why don't you give me a good squeeze with your hand? How's that feel down here? You feel a little different? I 
don't know. You can't tell? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Now, before when I pushed on this, it hurt. Does that hurt? Well, unless you push them in a different spot, it's, I'm not feeling not it. Not feeling it. Good. Yeah. All right. That's so what we're going to do is, is we got some cortisone right in there where you needed to have it. And we're going to put a bandage on this for you and just ask you to take it easy for a couple of days. Now, tonight, about an hour before you go to bed, would you put a little ice pack on that for 20 minutes for us? I can do that. Mr. Gage, man, you're a, you're a great fella. I'm sure glad that we got to meet you today. Well, appreciate you saying so. You see, I could have seen <laughs> Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've got more energy. Uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better, so it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. Before I was really sluggish, I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.